This isn't just a first for India, it's a first in lunar exploration. No one successfully landed near the moon's south pole before. Race is heating up. Russia yesterday launching its first mission to the moon. With the slim lander, Japan has made space history. Why is everyone trying to land at the south pole of the moon? In this video, we will discuss the reason, the potential challenges, the benefits, and which countries are planning future mission. Hello and welcome to my channel Beyond Earth, your portal to the cosmos. The south pole region of the moon is heavily cratered and extremely rough terrain and is very different from the relatively smooth, flat expanses of cooled lava the Apollo astronauts explored in the 1970s. Hence, for decades, the lunar South Pole was a bit of an afterthought in terms of lunar exploration. But in recent years, there's been a renewed interest in this region, and for good reason. One of the main reasons is the presence of water ice. Water ice has been found in permanently shadowed craters at the lunar South Pole, and it's thought that there could be much more of it buried beneath the surface. This is a big deal, because water is essential for life as we know it. It also has the potential to be a valuable resource for future lunar bases and even missions to Mars. If you're looking to set up a base on the moon, frozen water is good for a lot of things. Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen, and if those two atoms can be separated and stored, they can fuel a rocket. That's because hydrogen and oxygen are highly flammable, and when they are burned together, they release a huge amount of energy, enough to propel a rocket. That means that, at least in theory, lunar ice could provide water to drink, air to breathe, and a source of propellant for spaceships to fuel up and head out. We have all of those things on Earth, of course, but water in particular is extremely heavy and therefore expensive to launch in terms of both money and fuel. It's much cheaper for a moon base to get its water, rocket fuel, and air from the crater next door than to launch them from Earth. Mars missions will also benefit from being able to pick up supplies at an orbiting station like Gateway, instead of having to launch them from Earth's stronger gravity well. The major contenders so far are China, India, Russia, and the United States, although each of those countries plans to collaborate with others. China's upcoming Chang'e 6 lander will carry instruments from France, Italy, Sweden, and Pakistan. India's next lunar mission will be a joint effort with Japan. And NASA is working on its Artemis program with the European Space Agency, along with the space agencies of Germany, Israel, Italy, and Japan. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the south pole of the moon is heavily cratered, and hence, landing there is very challenging. Another challenge is the extreme cold. The south pole is one of the coldest places in the solar system with temperatures that can drop as low as minus 247 degrees Celsius. This is due to lack of sunlight, as the South Pole is in permanent shadow, which means that there is no sunlight to power solar panels. Any lander or rover that is sent there will need to have a different power source, such as nuclear power. Despite the challenges, there are also many potential benefits to landing on the lunar South Pole. As I mentioned before, the presence of water ice could be a game changer for future lunar exploration and development. The South Pole is also home to a number of valuable resources, such as helium-3. Another reason to explore is to study the moon's geological history. Earth-derived meteorites, that is, the rocks blasted out from an impact with Earth, are preserved on the moon. On Earth, Tectonic processes have wiped out rock records before 3.8 billion years ago. From early Earth meteorites, we could learn about the origins of our planet's continents, the first traces of an ocean on Earth, the composition of the primordial atmosphere, and the origin of life. What do you think about the race to the lunar south pole? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more space content.